You can't see stars without the dark is how our realm became what it is today. Ovin Amerta was going to sleep one night. And as she closed her eyes, she saw a vision. The vision told her, come to the swamp. This is not a threat. For you, no soldiers. She woke and ran to her beloved, beheld Garath. He, she told her about it. He told her it was nonsense. And it is nothing to be feared about. But she reasoned with her, knowing that it wasn't just an all dream, it was an actual vision, and we need to go to this. Fine. We held Goraf, replied. We will go at twilight. So they did. They went. To the swamp at twilight to see what was awaited of them. Is this it? Yes, I believe so. Why do you think we are called upon here? I don't know. But it is so beautiful at twilight. Don't you agree? Yeah, but whatever comes our way, we'll be able to handle it together. I know we will. Who goes there? I am the universe. I control space and time. And the future. I can see the future. Why do you need us here? The future of our realm is not good, and that's where you come in. How could, how could we help you? Get away from her. I didn't hurt her. I just gave her the gift of two children that are going to help the realm. Two children? Well, what are they supposed to do? They are going to follow their destinies. If they don't, this realm will fall. Their destinies, the first child, is to become a hero. And the second is to become the new, the new evil queen. Why must our second child become evil queen? Because you can't see stars in the dark. Those two will form their own story, and more stories will go on after that. But when shall they choose their destinies? When they were 16, they either received them or <sighs> I'm sorry to say our realm crumbles with them. Raise them and teach them how to be their destiny. But I don't have time now. I must go. To be continued.